with a deadly weapon suspect, so an ADW suspect who is on the run. Now, it is unknown at this time if that is a male or a female. My monitor's a little bit small, so I can't really make that out at this point here, but I can tell you that this person is doing whatever he or she can to avoid having to slow down and stop for the LAPD here. This initiated uh, as a stop uh, out of Newton Division here in South LA. LAPD's uh, Newton Division officers trying to get this person to stop. Uh, the pursuit was on at that point because the because uh, this uh, suspect refused to give up. So now you can see he is uh, facing southbound here. That's going to be southbound two. Uh, hang on, 23rd Street, and he's been kind of uh, moving in and out of this general vicinity here, just east of the 110 freeway and south of the 10 freeway for the past 10 to 15 minutes here. So this may be uh, an area of familiarity to this person. We know that that tends to be the case when people circle certain areas here, but you can uh, also see that this person is definitely not uh, intending to slow down or stop anytime soon here, doing everything he or she can to avoid having to give up to the LAPD here. We have two layers of LAPD airship, several units on the ground here, and they are in pursuit of this assault with a deadly weapon suspect here. It is believed that this person may be a shooting suspect here, so the details there are going to be uh, well forthcoming at some point when this uh, pursuit comes to an end, hopefully peacefully. In the meantime, though, you can see this person is kind of weaving in and out of some residential areas, of some commercial areas here, and now he is in kind of a residential area, and he is going to be along 25th Street from Hooper. So you can, uh, if you are following along on a map, he's just a few blocks south. Off your six, I do have you there, no worries. A few blocks south of the uh, 10 freeway here, and uh, just kind of generally circling this, uh, this uh, same kind of neighborhood here. So uh, slowing down, okay. Uh, is this going to be something of suspicion here? Does he... I guess, uh, I don't know. Is he uh, kind of playing a cat and mouse game with the uh, officers here? Is he waiting for someone on the ground to meet? Uh, who knows at this point here. But again, uh, as you can see, just not doing anything uh, rationally here. And in fact, just doing everything he or she can to avoid uh, having to stop uh, for the LAPD and give up peacefully, which is what he or she should be doing at this point here. But uh, for what it's worth, it doesn't look like there's anyone in the passenger seat of that uh, minivan here. It looks like only the driver. And uh, so that uh, we might believe at this point that there is only one suspect in the vehicle here. Again, uh, a possible shooting suspect, an assault with a deadly weapon suspect here in South L.A. The LAPD is in pursuit. Guys, let me send it back down to you for a moment. Okay. Did he throw something into the van? Compton Avenue. No, they're still they're still right behind. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Frank, we kind of made mention of that. It didn't look like there was a passenger in the passenger seat, certainly the driver there that you can see a little bit uh, more clearly from this vantage point here. We're kind of vertical on the on the driver itself, so uh, it looks like uh, perhaps a male driver there. You can see, as uh, Jessica had mentioned there, the driver's side uh, windows down the side of the van here are definitely taped over, so is the back. So, uh, well, I don't know what that means, uh, if this is his vehicle or not, but uh, you can see that this person is definitely uh, still... 
Uh, well, going around in circles, essentially, through this same neighborhood here. We're only about a uh, quarter mile, maybe half a mile south of the 10 freeway here. And again, uh, this person has been uh, just kind of generally circling this same neighborhood here. So again, this may be an indication that this uh, may be an area that uh, this person is familiar with, this ADW, this assault with a deadly weapon shooting suspect here, now driving kind of through uh, an industrial area here uh, through two uh, kind of sets of buildings, but uh, uh, there is uh, one, two, three, four, uh, four units of the LAPD that are directly behind him and are in relative close proximity here as this guy slows down. Uh, it is no doubt a uh, thought that the LAPD might uh, be... Rich, thank you. Cannot do it without you. Okay. No, have not crossed over the 110 freeway, Frank. We're about a mile to the east of the 110 freeway and about uh, maybe half a mile south of the uh, 10 freeway here. Newton Division officers of the LAPD initiating a stop on this uh, particular suspect here, believed to be an assault with a deadly weapon suspect, a possible shooting uh, suspect, in fact. And uh, at that point, the pursuit was on. That was just a northbound turn to the right uh, that the suspect in that white minivan just made here. So we'll try and uh, well, make efforts to get over there and get a cleaner shot. But you can see kind of moving in and out between the buildings there, a northbound turn. And that is going to be a long hooper uh, just uh, from central here. So we are basically approaching the 10 freeway, and there is a left turn westbound. Now westbound through the residential area here. It's kind of a mix between resident, uh, residential areas and commercial businesses here, but uh, this particular area, certainly uh, residential in nature here, and as we move a little bit closer to the 110 freeway, that is going to be a right turn back northbound, back northbound from 23rd up Griffith Avenue here, so that is going to be, uh, well, putting up a little bit closer to the 10 freeway at that point, but uh, again, as we have seen, and as he is showing us here, just kind of making, uh, well, be kind of... Uh, circles around this uh, general vicinity here. So again, y you know, a couple of minutes ago, we saw him pull over at the intersection here and there was a person standing at the corner and it almost looked like that person threw something into the passenger window. Don't know uh, what the exchange was there, but uh, certainly an, an exchange of some sort here. But uh, this may be an area that this person is familiar with. He may have people out on the streets. We just don't know at this point. But what I can tell you is that the LAPD is in very close proximity to him. We have at least four units of the LAPD that are in, uh, well, within a half a block to a block of this guy, and uh, they are just kind of keeping tabs on his location. We also have two layers of LAPD helicopter that are overhead, so the chances of this guy getting away are essentially uh, very slim at this point here, but uh, you can see, wow, there you go, my goodness, almost causing a traffic accident there. Uh, a few minutes ago, he almost hit a couple of bicyclists. Uh, he went through a crowd of people here. Uh, that was uh, on a neighborhood uh, residential area here, so uh, again, just driving very dangerously, very erratically through some of these streets here. That's erratic left turn there right through uh, into oncoming lanes of traffic. Fortunately, traffic very light at this point here, but uh, because he's gaining a little bit of speed here, it looks like he's just making uh, some room uh, between him and that first pursuing LAPD officer who is about a block behind at this point here. But again, 
Uh, I can tell you that the LAPD airships overhead are keeping very close tabs on this guy's location here. Turning northbound now, turning northbound, and that's going to be back to Hooper Avenue here. So you can see if you've been following along with our coverage here, this guy has taken Hooper Avenue several times here, working between the 20s, uh, between, say, 21st and uh, 27th Street. And now an eastbound turn, an eastbound turn, and uh, oh boy, okay, there he goes. He's going to hit a trash can. Trash can's going to hit the car. This is all in an effort. Okay, so does he know this person? Does he know this person? You see that lady on the street? Okay, is this an area that he knows? Does he know this person? Is he going to pull over? Is he going to give up? What's going on? Okay, so you're seeing it unfold right uh, as we are here at Sky 5 HD. So the person essentially pulling over. Uh, in front of a location that presumably these people on the uh, ground know him, and they are probably uh, imploring uh, this person to give up peacefully here. And there you go. Driver door open, driver door open. Okay, LAPD right there. And this guy's going to exit. Hands up. Okay, they'll likely want him to turn around. There you go. Hands up so that they can see uh, his hand position, uh, hand position at all times. Uh, LAPD definitely has guns drawn. They might have them back up. They might have them prone out on the ground, but uh, certainly a situation where uh, some folks uh, on the ground, perhaps people that uh, might be familiar with this assault with a deadly weapon suspect here, uh, well, maybe uh, they were instrumental in uh, convincing this guy to give up peacefully here, and it looks like that's what he is trying to do, but uh, they need to uh, follow through and get this guy to uh, essentially give up peacefully and take him into custody here, but uh, they're backing him up at this point. And it looks like uh, this team of officers here are going to uh, talk to him and take him into custody. And that is certainly some good news here. There is still an additional concern that there might be uh, additional suspects inside of that van here. So they are still going to be proceeding with caution until they send a team up to that uh, white SUV and clear that SUV here. But at the very least, the driver of that SUV seems to have, uh, seems to have given up at this point and he is now in custody here. So good news there. Uh, an assault with a deadly weapon suspect here now in custody here in South L.A. after a lengthy pursuit uh, through the South L.A. streets. Guys, that is the update from overhead at Sky 5 HD. Let me send it back down to you in the studio. New guy panics here. Okay, Rich, thank you. Okay. Ten TV five. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What she what she say? Oh. Able to make it out.
gone. Okay. What, kind of hammered? <laughs> yeah. See you, Levin, thanks. A3 uh, for TV5, thank you very much, we appreciate it. Copters TV5, we are all done. I want to thank you very much. We are going to be clearing the Bravo North. Thank you.